darlings, I am going to make this quick because for some reason, today has just been the hottest day and I have never melted the way that I have melted today unless it was like June, July at Pride when the sun is just coming down on me. So let me just make this really quick. I was on the set of Jousted Out today and you can find that at joustedout.com and I had the pleasure of uh, co-interviewing Judge Elaine Crane and uh, more on her later or actually just go to joustedout.com and watch the new episode. It's also on youtube.com, which will be within one of the links. Okay, now continuing, because I'm starting to heat up again. The furnace just came on. I don't know why. But anyway, um, so as she is a Republican judge, so we were talking about gay rights and all this kind of thing, and I just knew that everything was going to blow up crazy. But what she brought up was, was actually really, really... Um, it made my thought process start to move. So here's what here's what happened. As speaking on gay marriage and her position on gay marriage, what she brought up was she doesn't mind two people being together. And she said, "If the is it the word marriage that's so important, or is it the rights that come with it? Because if it's the rights, then what you should be fighting for is not so much." marriage equality, saying that everyone should be able to get married, but that the civil unions, domestic partnerships, should have the same exact rights as a married couple. And, and the name, excuse me, the name really doesn't matter. So I'm like, well, marriage seems to be a, a creation uh, of man. And, you know, it, it's gone through the churches, so religions laid claim over it. I don't know, you know, how that whole process works. That's not what I'm on. But the thing is, if they just want the word marriage, I, I might be okay to give that to them. So long as the exact same rights, benefits, and, and, and rewards come with it, come with, come with civil unions and domestic partnerships as it does uh, marriage. So this is an open topic. I'd love for it to be discussed in the comments. And like I said, I'm always open for you guys to give me things that you want to talk about. And I did not want this to become long because I'm still extremely hot. But, um, oh, and do you like my outfit? I'm trying to be a little bit more professional today. Okay, that's, that is absolutely enough. And I hate to rush you guys off. I love you to death. I really do all my wonderful dears and darlings. And do me just one quick favor, if you could. If you're still watching, do me one quick quick favor. Right there is the subscribe button. T just take a second and hit that subscribe button so I can keep going. On the 23rd of this month, I know a lot of you have been very upset about my Are Trannies Better Than Women video. I understand that I offended a lot of transgender people, some cisgender people, some pansexuals, some bisexuals, some lesbians. I offended a lot of people. And I have called on two of my transgender friends to actually come into a studio with me and talk about this. And I'm going to make sure that they're available for that day. And um, we'll get that video posted as soon as possible. This is my formal apology to all of you. So, okay, that's that. Is there anything else? Just discuss this topic for me. Is the word marriage what we want equal? Do, does, do we want everyone to just be married or do we want everyone to have the same rights? So, the you know, do we want the rights or is the word important? The heat is getting to my brain. I've stuttered. I've stammered through this entire video. Forgive me. I'm sure you guys are going to be able to relieve me right now. You won't feel bad if I leave you. All right, darlings. I live and love for you. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you just decided to watch this video. Mwah. Darlings, don't forget to subscribe, Skype and Uber me, find me on Facebook, and don't forget my Twitter. Holler back and I'll holler for